Today, we're getting hyped for Samsung Galaxy users with a deep dive into One UI 7.0. This upcoming update built on Android 15 promises to be a game changer, bringing a fresh look and feel to your phone alongside some intriguing new features. We all know Samsung recently unveiled One UI 6.1 along with the latest foldables, the Z Flip 6 and Z Fold 6. But for many, it's what's next that's truly exciting. One UI 7.0. Leaks suggest a significant design overhaul and a bunch of user-friendly features. The rumor mill is in overdrive and according to reliable tech insider Ice Universe, a beta test for One UI 7.0 might be just around the corner. They claim a release window of July slash August 2024, barring any unforeseen delays within Samsung. This would be an exciting opportunity for tech enthusiasts and early adopters to get a taste of the update before its official release. One of the most anticipated aspects of One UI 7.0 is its focus on animations. Ice Universe initially hinted at ultra-smooth animations similar to what we see on iOS and Coloros. While that specific tweak got deleted, it definitely piqued everyone's interest. Imagine buttery smooth transitions and app interactions. That's the kind of user experience One UI 7.0 might deliver. Earlier reports also suggested a visual refresh for One UI 7.0. This could include redesigned app icons, a smoother overall feel, and a revamped quick panel layout for quicker access to essential settings. Imagine a more polished and intuitive interface that makes navigating your phone a breeze. The camera app might also see a makeover with the quick controls potentially moving near the mode switcher. This would be a welcome change for anyone who loves to capture photos and videos on their Samsung device. With the controls within easy reach, you can focus on framing the perfect shot without fumbling around the screen. Beyond the visual upgrades, One UI 7.0 might bring some interesting functionalities as well. Rumors point towards a basic app lock feature, letting you add an extra layer of security to specific apps containing sensitive information. This could be a great option for protecting your banking apps, social media accounts, or any other app that holds private data. For those who like to keep their app drawer organized, there might be a vertical app drawer option through Samsung's Good Lock customization module. This would provide a different way to categorize and access your apps, potentially making it easier to find what you're looking for. If you're rocking the latest Galaxy S24 series, you might be in for a treat. Samsung typically rolls out beat updates to their newest flagships first, so the S24 could be at the forefront of testing One UI 7.0 in the coming weeks. This would be a great chance for S24 users to provide valuable feedback and help shape the final version of the update. Following the S24, the beta might expand to other high-end devices like the S23 series, the latest foldables, Z Flip 6 and Z Fold 6, and potentially other premium phones. This wider beta rollout would allow Samsung to gather feedback from a diverse range of users and ensure a smooth experience for everyone. After a series of beta releases, Samsung is likely to launch the stable version of One UI 7.0 sometime in October or November of this year. This would be the official public release, allowing all compatible Galaxy devices to experience the update. The rollout will then encompass a wider range of devices. We can expect most high-end and mid-range Galaxy smartphones and tablets to receive the update by the end of 2024. Entry-level devices might have to wait a bit longer, possibly getting One UI 7.0 in early 2025. We'll be sure to keep you updated as more details emerge about the One UI 7.0. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Until then, take care. Today, we are diving into the latest buzz surrounding the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Buckle up, because this phone is shaping up to be a true game changer in the world of smartphones. Let's get into the juicy details. First off, Samsung seems laser focused on making the S25 Ultra the king of smartphones in 2025. The company appears to be using a two-pronged attack to achieve this, a monstrous camera system and mind-blowing performance upgrades. Let's start with the camera. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to stick with its familiar quad camera setup, but with some serious enhancements. The main sensor will likely boast a hopping 200 megapixels, matching the S24 Ultra but optimized for the S25 Ultra's specific hardware thanks to the new Snapdragon Agent 4 camera ISP. But that's not all. We're also looking at a 5x optical zoom lens with a 50 megapixel sensor, a brand new 3x optical zoom lens, also with a 50 megapixel sensor, and an ultra wide angle lens getting a bump to 50 megapixels as well. These upgrades, particularly for the 3x zoom and ultra wide sensors, are long overdue and promise to significantly elevate mobile photography. Now let's talk about performance. One of the most exciting rumors is the reintroduction of a fan favorite feature, 
a 16 gigabytes RAM option, and not just any RAM, but the industry first LPDDR5X RAM, capable of speeds up to a staggering 10.7 GEPs. This translates to unparalleled performance for on-device AI, demanding tasks like cloud gaming, and much more. When you combine this insane RAM with the power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 processor, the S25 Ultra has the potential to be the absolute performance leader in the smartphone world. Speaking of the Agent 4, another reliable leak suggests it'll house the most powerful GPU ever seen in a smartphone. Benchmarks show prototypes running Genshin Impact at a smooth 1080 resolution and 60 FPS. A dream for mobile gamers. Currently, this popular game is capped at 720 on most phones and maintaining a consistent 60 FPS is a struggle. Of course, with great power comes a potentially higher price tag. Rumors suggest the Snapdragon Agent 4 chip could inflate the price of the entire S25 series compared to its predecessor. Qualcomm has reportedly increased the cost of the Agent 4 significantly compared to the Agent 3. This leaves Samsung with a tough choice, raise prices across the board or potentially use the Exynos 2500 processor for the S25 and S25 Plus, reserving the mighty Agent 4 exclusively for the S25 Ultra. The Agent 4 itself is a whole new beast, built from the ground up using Qualcomm's Super Orion cores previously seen in their laptops. This chip has the potential to give the Galaxy S25 Ultra performance that rivals some Apple M series laptops. But wait, there's more. We also have hot rumors about the Galaxy S25 Ultra being equipped with the next generation of storage, UFS 4.1. Universal Flash Storage, or UFS, determines how fast your phone can access and store data. The latest and greatest version is UFS 4.0, which powers many current flagships, including the Galaxy S24. But the future is calling and whispers suggest the Galaxy S25 Ultra might be the first to sport UFS 4.1. While UFS 5.0 is expected around 2027, UFS 4.1 steps in as a minor yet significant upgrade. It's not a mind-blowing jump in raw numbers, but it's targeted to enhance specific areas like on-device AI features. Faster read and write speeds with UFS 4.1 will allow the phone to access data needed by AI algorithms much quicker, translating to smoother performance for features like scene optimization in your camera app, real-time language translation, and other background AI functions. So. What does this all mean? The Galaxy S25 Ultra, if equipped with UFS 4.1, is shaping up to be a powerhouse for AI enthusiasts. Faster data access, improved multitasking, and potential battery life improvements. That's a recipe for a future-proof phone ready to tackle demanding tasks. Of course, this is all based on rumors for now, but one thing's for sure, the future of smartphones looks increasingly intertwined with the power of AI, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra, with its potential UFS 4.1 upgrade, might just be at the forefront of that exciting evolution. So there you have it. What are your thoughts on the upcoming S25 Ultra? Are the camera upgrades exciting you? Can't wait for the return of 16 gigabytes RAM? Or is the potential power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 blowing your mind? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you in the next one, guys. Until then, goodbye.